Thank you, Dreamer, please. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We have a new developer's notes from Dev Kagura, Dev Spike, Dev Rudy, whoever he is, um, about equipment stamping. And this is the system that he has previously hinted to us or told us that we'll be launching instead of having Abyss items. Can be a good thing, can be a bad thing, but we'll find out now. Okay, today I'd like to talk about the equipment stamping system. This is going to be introduced in the April update. Uh, this is actually something that I came across from the Japanese server and I mentioned it in my Discord so if you like some you know, tips <laughs> or information beforehand you can join my Discord I'll try to, com I'll try to you know, sometimes post things that uh, are related to what Devkagura has mentioned yep. Okay, so we are going to talk about the new e equipment stamping system instead of the previously scheduled Abyss equipment update one of the biggest problems of the Abyss equipment is that the value of the existing equipment would not be preserved because the new equipment must be acquired and consecutively enhanced. Well, the thing is, I have to disagree. Um, the only reason why Abyss equipment was so negatively uh, received is because it was meant for PvP. And at that point, at, uh, even at this point, we really don't need any more changes to PvP. We don't need any more um, enhancements to PvP. Um, because I believe 90%, 85% of the player base are still building up their Celestial items, Celestial gear uh, for their PvP units. So at this point, you know, unless you're telling me that 50% of the player base has already maxed out all their Celestial gear, then we can have a discussion about Abyss equipment for PvP. But the problem is that, firstly, they are for PvP, and many players have already wanted a new tier of items for PvE. Um, so that was the main reason for the negative feedback. Not because, you know, it, simply because it, it was designed the way it was intended to. Now, if you change the design, then no one would have anything bad to say, right? Okay, so one of the biggest problems with the Abyss Equipment is that the value... Oh, this Isn't this the same thing? You just literally <laughs> wrote the same thing. We believe that the worst thing for our knights to experience is that equipment losing value. Um, yeah, that is so true. That is so true. Um, instead, in fact, anything that loses value is just bad. Instead of this new introduction, we decided to bring the game another one. <laughs> the stamping system, which will give more diversity to the currently existing setups without modifying their value. Um, this can be seen as a gear enhancement kind of a system, which, you know, has allows you to customize your hero more in terms of effects. Uh, I'm pretty... I would say interested to see what kind of effects he's going to offer. Okay, uh, I'm keeping an open mind and I hope you guys will as well. Because um, I'm really inclined to believe that anything, okay, anything that Dev Kagura says now will be negatively received, no matter good or bad. <laughs> I feel that no matter what he introduces right now, everyone is ready to slam. So uh, I would say keep an open mind for now because nothing much is revealed in these developers' notes apparently. The equipment stamping system provides additional options for existing equipment that were not available until now. Uh, by doing this, we can guarantee the value of existing equipment to be preserved at its current level. So, there could be new effects um, like ignore defense even more. Uh, like, uh, you see that this is a PvE gear by the way. Okay, so... I don't know how they will enhance PvE items, but it's good that, you know, I'm... The first thing that I see that he's having PvE gear here is that I can enhance my maze or Valicus equipment even more which is pretty appealing to me, not gonna lie. Uh, and I would really focus on my PvE gear first because I'm not gonna stress over PvP. Again, PvE equipment is used here. Now, he's really trying to show you that, you know, you can do better things with PvE with this system instead of having Abyss items. So, uh, he's trying to convince us that you know having the stamping system is going to be more beneficial than having a new tier of PVE items. I mean, to be honest, it is uh, better. It is better, uh, better than waiting for three months for one item. Equipment stamping is only available starting from Awakening Grade, and it requires essences and gold. 
more gold. You can obtain the Celestial Essence from the 15 Adventure Stages. Um, I'm not sure if he meant Map 15, which is not even out. <laughs> so uh, we can expect Map 15 maybe uh, in April, maybe. Uh, or he really meant, you know, from the 15 Avengers stages. It's a plural word. Okay, it's a plural word. So um, I hope that it drops every map. <laughs> And not just in map 15, because if, if it drops only in map 15, we'll have that same issue whereby, you know, how we're going to divide our time between the maps. We have magic crystals to farm. We have, uh, now we have celestial essence to farm. And then uh, we also have gold to farm. We also have rubies to farm, you know. But they will also be obtainable through various events. Yeah, they better. Um, okay, so if you proceed with stamps using celestial essence, you will be granted an option randomly each option alone has no effect but using together two or more equipment with the same option will grant specific effects the more equipment you wear with the same option the stronger the effect becomes you can think of this as similar to the set equipment effect currently used in some gacha games okay okay i can uh, live with that this is a very japanese oriented um uh, uh, system whereby you uh, different equipment have set effects and actually this is something that is also coming from Seven Nights Japan where Death's Kagura is also ha has been a developer there for about three years uh, as Death Rudy so I'm really not surprised that he decided to bring this over and um, uh, to be honest the set effects in Japanese server is probably one of the more interesting highlights of the entire server apart from them having very cool uh, diff very cool exclusive items etc but to be honest it's something that's highly raved in Japan server so I would still say keep an open mind okay there will also be many kinds of options as a result existing equipment can be tailored to each in-game content or personal taste you can give them the options you find fit uh, so yeah, more hero customization basically, and this will, this can really vary up a lot of gameplay. Uh, let you think and craft your heroes to, uh, you know, in different ways, and um, basically it allows you to have more room to play with gear. So get more items, get more power up stones, build different kinds of gear. Uh, could be pretty fun. Even a single stamping piece of equipment can be used to create a new option. Upon being granted, the amount of goods consumed remains the same. Even if this gives you an option you don't want, there will be no need to create new equipment. I don't know what he means here. <laughs> I, I really don't know what he means here. Uh, it's pretty vague. Even a single stamping piece of equipment can be used to create a I think it means you can re-roll but it's very scary because every time I think of re-rolling it's extremely scary uh, I think of the ways that mythical awakened jewels were done <laughs> not the most fun way to re-roll but I hope um, it will be cheap <laughs> we don't plan to sell celestial essence as part of any package for a while that's that's a uh, pretty encouraging but the same thing happened with magic crystals as long as it is an adventure related currency they will not sell it too soon but it doesn't mean that they won't sell it okay the base sale system needed to limit break must have been very stressful for many nights so we hope this equipment stamping will be an opportunity to become stronger only through only through pure effort <sighs> soon i will share more details with you regarding april's update so look forward to it. That concludes our death note. Um, every time he says through pure effort, uh, right now, you know, initially it was pretty nice when he started saying that, you know, he wants to reward players through effort. Um, but now it just seems like there is a little too many things to do and to farm. Uh, the time spent has to be divided properly. The only problem now is that in world 14 you don't get fodder now if you do get fodder from world 15 i would say that maybe it is a lot viable to farm there okay uh, and then for magic crystals that's a whole different story so that's the only problem right now with the the newer maps if you cannot get fodder then it makes it very difficult to sustain farming there right 
and don't we can't talk about effort in that case because it's difficult. <laughs> it's just difficult, especially for um, progressing players who are still trying to you know get gold, uh, get all sorts of resources. Okay. Um, so my general thoughts again. I don't want to be slamming anything right now. Okay, I really need to see the update before I can conclude whether it's good or it's bad. In general, um, equipment sets is something that isn't new to games, not isn't new to gacha games especially. So it's interesting how this is finally being brought over to the New World server. Uh, I'm always a person that loves crafting heroes and I really did like the direction whereby in the recent updates, I feel that hero customization, I've mentioned this before, is really way different than what we had before. Okay, so having this kind of level of customization for each hero now, and even more so with the stamping system, could really bring things to a new level. Ultimately, you know, it really depends. Again, I just want to say, like, it really depends on your goal. If you are trying to, you know, push for PvP ranks, um, this will of course be a hindrance to you. But if you're really just here to have fun, you're really just here to try to make each hero to the best possible and think of new strategies, then this system will really, uh, can provide you with that even more so now, okay? So these are just perspectives which I hope that you guys can also just give it a thought, okay? Don't jump to conclusions too quickly and uh, we'll see how it goes. So of course, big shout out to my channel members, ZMD Phoenix and Reggie Potista for the support. Let me know what you guys think of the developer's notes here in the comments and be sure to stay tuned for more videos. Thank you so much and see you!